were no sprinklers in that building, but the building wasn't required to have them. That's because of the age of the building, but there were still other rules the owner had to follow, and that's one of the questions tonight. Was the owner following those other regulations? The I-team's been looking into the history of the building. Our chief correspondent, Joe Shortsleeve, joins us now live in Lowell. Joe? You know, Lisa, there are a lot of troubling questions tonight. Obviously, we don't know a cause. There's been a lot of chatter about fireworks in the building and were they going off at the time of the fire. The most important question, though, tonight is why couldn't those seven people get out of that building this morning? And what we're hearing about that is that when first responders arrived on this street at 4 a.m., they say they didn't hear any alarms sounding. I frankly was here when smoke was still coming out of the building and I didn't hear any alarms. The fire alarm system in the building is a hard-wired system, which means it covers the whole building and is not made up of individual battery-operated units. Sources tell the I-team police and first responders did not hear any alarms sounding when they arrived, and that could certainly explain why these seven people never escaped. I can only say that, as we have heard and the DA has heard, is there are numerous reports that there were no smoke alarms operating at the time of the fire. The initial interviews with the residents of the building, some of them saying that they heard a sound, whether it be the alarm or whether it not be, is very hard to determine right now. Investigators say they need to examine the central panel for the building's alarm system itself. Corner, corner branch and... Yeah, the corner of the branch in Queen Streets. The I-team examined inspection reports for the building dating back 15 years. As of March 2013, documents at Lowell City Hall indicate the carbon monoxide detectors and the smoke alarms were working properly in all nine apartments. And in 2007, the I-team found a criminal violation notice for the building. Under a previous owner, the city found illegally padlocked doors, no handrails on the third floor where the apartments are located, and broken windows and screens. Nine units of documents at City Hall also reveal one year ago there was a small fire in the first floor liquor store. Now, that fire in 2013 proved to be electrical in nature, but given the age of this building and the fact that there was an electrical fire there once before in a socket, who knows, that could turn out to prove to be relevant down the road. Live in Lowell, Joe Shortsleeve, WBZ News. Back to you, Lisa. Investigators looking at all of that. Joe, thank you. Through his attorneys, the owner of the building released a statement that he doesn't want to say anything about the fire right now out of respect for the victims, but his lawyers say he is fully cooperating with authorities.